Plain Gaming. Welcome back to ESL 1 in Birmingham. For the first time ever, we've got a UK major. Just going to keep saying it and saying it and saying it. I'm never going to get sick of it. Uh, on our panel right now, Nahaz is here alongside Fog. Both two very happy men at the fact that we've got a third game in this one because basically they're Plain Gaming fans. Yeah, I can't blame us. Not going to lie, man. I mean, after what you saw in that second game, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I mean, they. We, we were talking a lot about like draft, Liquid making mistakes, but in this one, this was just straight up pain out playing. Though. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still in awe of um, how Tavo played that Pango. When you look at the damage output, uh, 25k damage, she was ahead of the Morphling, yeah. less than 1k shy of the Lina of Weha. And most of that damage is coming from the Swashbuckle in these fights because he's able to get into the backline's play. He got 9k damage out of Swashbuckler, over half of that to the Slark and the NP, zoning Liquid out of these fights. Yep. Yeah, we, we said before the break, um, it's it's Fog asks some questions of Team Liquid now, and they've now got to come up with some answers of their own. So is pressure back on Liquid, or is pressure now on Pain because they actually think, uh, well, we could actually win this best of three? I think it's, I mean, there's definitely going to be some pressure on both, but I think for, for Liquid, I think maybe it was slightly some stuff that they could have been fixing at the end, but they just got straight out played. They have to yeah. just play better. I think that's, it's like yeah. a stupid thing to say, but they really just need to play crisper because they were no. making mistakes all over the place. Look, it's a, it's right. a mistake hey. to overanalyze. Look at that ban. Uh, 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 yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. That's, that's huh. a lot of respect from Liquid. They've put yeah. the Naga in the bans. I think they recognize that this hero allows this uh, the lane opportunities from Pain, where they yeah. can do this aggressive and mess up the idea that Liquid has of the game. So I, I do like All this right. adaptation. Same three bans from Pain. And let's see, are Liquid going to open NP for the third straight match? Oh, wow. Hello. I, love, oh, bro, I personally love it. And backstage, Slax, uh, Slax is go. kicking something. Uh, ask, ask me now, right now, which team do you think will win? I go Liquid. Right away? <laughs> it's, it's a Wind Ranger, man. I bet against Wind Ranger. Well, has a little bit of a Wind uh, Ranger fixation. I do have a little bit. Wow, well, if there's, if there's anything that could make him more happy than a major in the UK, it's a major in the UK where Liquid first picks Wind Ranger. And then they just need to beat a Jakiro. And, and Jakiro alongside. <laughs> See, and then we're happy. We're all in. Uh, I'm done. I'm, Dude, I'm, my job's, my job is done. Macro pyre. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that advert comes on anymore. <laughs> Swear to God. I think Blitz <laughs> said it during the game, oh, too. Go, I'm pretty go. sure I heard him say it at least <laughs> once. Uh, okay, so first pick, Wind Ranger for Liquid. Uh, a little bit different, a little bit funky. Yeah. Well, in all seriousness, I think it's reasonable for them. It is a flex pick. You could see Miracle on it in lane. You could see GH. We've talked about this 4-5 yeah, Wind exactly. Runner as well. So, yeah, it's it's in there, isn't it? I mean, this hero can go like anywhere, right? Maybe not. Maybe Actually, I can't even see Off lane? Safe lane. Off lane. I can see really? this hero actually positioned anywhere really? right now. Yep. So, I yeah. really do think so. There's That's there's actually been a lot of debate I've heard about that, whether or not this hero can off lane now. I've seen some situations where he's been he's been safe lane carry, where you have somebody that can she, boost him. She. she. Sorry. I even seen him the player that's playing it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to respond with, wow, that's a really quick pick PO. Wow. Oh. So that Dumb. is not what I thought. Do you know we were these? Think. This is one of those moments in the draft, boys, where I go, "Thank God I'm a host," and you guys oh, are uh, the experts. Yeah, same. Let me just <laughs> <laughs> get get back here. Don't you leave me on an island over here. Oh man. So obviously, what, what we start. saw from Matumbaman in game one on on PL was enough really well. to justify the first phase. And Miracle is an excellent mid PL player as well, depending on the matchup. I, that's that's what I think. The big strength of this liquid open is, is, is it indeed if these are two cores, they're two cores that if you buy into Fog's Theory from a moment ago, they can play in all three lanes. Yeah, that's that's true. They could have a lot of variety here. They didn't even look at what Pain was going to pick, though. They snap oh, picked that before yeah. the Disruptor or Clockwork even came yeah. up. They were just like, well, they came up for a second, but they already had it decided that they wanted PL. So they're now, they're changing it up. They are not focusing on Wii. They're focusing on Tavo. In those, in those four yes. fifth bands. You know what, and, and I, think it's, I think that's 100% correct. I kind of like it too, especially after that last game when we see the Pango. And, and I mean, if you're going to be running PL, you, you probably want to take out Pango too. <sighs> Neat. I'm really wow, wow the Wind Ranger just insta picked. What's it, been, what's it like in, the, in this in tournament? I feel like I haven't seen it as much as I was expecting to see it, to be honest. I know they ran it yesterday versus Vici. I don't remember who played it though. At least on Liquid. Uh, you want to know how many times it's been played here? Three. Yes. Yeah. Three. Okay. One, two out of three so far. I've been banned three times. Okay. 
Well, we all, that's the thing. We all heard about, we've all heard about the support Wind Ranger. And we saw Crit ran that. Okay. GH played it yesterday. And yeah, you went GH to Meteor Hammer. Yesterday. You went been, more stuff. Been Meteor talking Hammer. about it with Mad since January. But the theory behind this hero and why she was supposed to come into the meta was that core Wind Ranger was supposed to be viable as well. Yeah. And that I haven't necessarily been convinced by based on okay. the, pro, the pro matches I've seen. Did Spirit, you see Spirit. Did you see G's game yesterday? Yeah, G. He had Slaughter. Holy mo Exactly. He had Slaughter. Enable, it, enabler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slaughter yeah. makes it a total different beast yeah. but oh but gh slaughter is actually well this is okay oh pain i love you look at this i, I think i think underlord <laughs> was a hundred percent the pick here did you did you see Kuro's reaction to that i didn't see what was his reaction yeah it's just right uh, no that was it's a beautiful pick you see it's two you see two physical damage heroes that are really rel reliant on a lot of attacks, lots of multiple smallish instances of damage. Atrophy Aura is going to, and then into the Crimson Guard, is going to crush the damage output of now the first three picks by Liquid. I love this Underlord here. Good, yeah, it's just very good here over his PL. You're always going to be able to find the real PL easily with Firestorm with Pit, too. And Liquids, they still go for the Nature's Prophet, but this time now they have Wind Ranger too, so they have the pairing that they can always go for those Sprout Shackles, and that's the Ember, so we... They've got a. That's Whoa. a lot of. Uh, they've got a lot of root and people keeping people inside of the pit. So with disruptor clock ember. Hmm. What is I... the rule? What is the what is the rule with pain gaming? Isn't it don't give we one of his best heroes and then this you can beat them. This is a good first four picks it by is, pain. It is okay. nice. Yeah. This is. Uh, I mean, ember versus pl. We've seen some of the times. It goes kind of both ways, to be honest. If the PL is too far ahead, Ember tends to kind of just tickle him. Like but. the the OD can the OD can punish the Ember Spirit really hard. This is now going to be a support win, probably a support win. You could see the Nature's Prophet shifted back into that position if Liquid want to get too really cute. But uh, right now, OD is the only pick for Liquid that is not affected by the Underlord, and I think that's the the rationale where you now move Wind Ranger and possibly also the NP back to your supports. Yeah, right. GH so that Atrophy the Aura doesn't crush you. Last time they played the Wind Ranger was yesterday against VG, mm -hmm. and it was GH on the Wind Ranger. Yeah. I think I'd still... I get, maybe they I, could that run was the a fourth, That was a fourth pick, Wind Ranger, as well, yeah. by the way. I mean, I'm okay. I, I think the Wind Ranger support, of course, I think those are your three cores, the PL, Nature's Prophet, OD. I think the last no. pick should be something like that Slaughter, that Sanking, someone to start the fights, because I think that's what they're I, lacking right now on Liquid. I think you do... So, I think you either go Slaughter, or you shift that Wind Ranger back. Uh, you shift the Wind Ranger and P and your support. I know it's an we awkward. Don't, we don't have enough tool. days either on but here either because the only time they played Wind Ranger in the last year and a half was that was yeah. yesterday yeah. on GH. Yeah, I kind of think I want them. I, I know I said Slaughter and Sanking. I think I'm maybe leaning a little towards Sanking because then it gives them team fight. And I feel like they lack team fight right now. And you think leave Wind Ranger as a core? No. So Wind Ranger no, Sanking supports okay. PL, All right, yeah, 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 Prophet, yeah. OD cores. Yep. Yeah, that and would, I guess you get enough running... value out of the and Nature's Profit because he can build utility items. So you'd run the SK as a 5? I think you run the Wind Render as a 5. Yeah. Mm. It was GH yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And I usually do see it, of course, as the four. You go like that over Venom and you're just that super obnoxious hero. I mean, and that's, the, people. That, that's the thing. More Probably and more, more I'm thinking. Liquid have run NP as a five with yeah, Kuro. They, they have. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely the option. I, I yeah. agree. That's more likely, isn't it? I mean, they rarely pick a support fifth. Yeah, they, I I, know, I, I, I like it's usually the, a miracle hero fifth. I mean, think about it. You you can go like a dark seer fifth, get super wave clear, get those utility items up, still have the nation's profit TPing around. See, they they've banned the lone druid, so, uh, the uh, coddle, so they they think it's going to be they, a support. They, yeah. they think it's a support. That they ran that yesterday. Yeah. The wind ranger plus coddle. Oh, uh, yeah. Wind ranger plus coddle supports. Right. It's the, it is the slaughter. It had to be okay. slaughter sinking, okay. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You were right, fuck. You were and right. And this man. is the way that um I, I like the point that Kevin made uh, earlier today. He was talking about you see these heroes that negate so much. These crimson guards are being built. These, yeah. these gr greaves, etc. Slaughter, shadow demon, team spirits approach to negating that. And this time it's the a slaughter. slaughter wind ranger. And it's a slaughter wind ranger. So maybe, <sighs> maybe now it is going to be slaughter nature's prophet but supports. Indeed, and the that's, what, that's support. what I thought. Yeah. Right. Because then you're at least yeah. benefiting from the focus fire yeah. and that corrosive haze. Yeah, it just it, it it I I just I think you might be right because I think it's such a tough core NP game, right? You think about it as you're having to push towers against an underlord. You can get chased around by Ember Spirit. It's it's a really tough mind control NP game. Yeah, I think I'm liking Wind, Wind Ranger and Wind Ranger as a core, but. Hmm. Oh man, pain. It's our last pick. I mean, these drafts. This is much more even. At this, is I, like, yeah, I like both I love drafts. these drafts. Pain's last pick. 
What is HFN gonna play? Oh man. Hmm. Luna? No, oh. this is. Oh, 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 wow. My goodness. So well, sorry, hold on, hold on. Because we can't to play ETA. both heroes. Ember safe lane, TA <laughs> yeah. mid. We're going back to ETA. <laughs> that's, that's a sick swap up at the end if HFN can play the Ember. Oh my gosh. All right. Interesting. Okay. What a great draft. That, that might be one of the more fun drafts. Yeah, that was. A, I like this. Man, yeah, that was man, a lot of fun. series has delivered. I don't uh, it does leave a lot of headaches for you guys, though, as you need to figure out kind of where things might This fit is where in. I wish we had the player selection. Yeah, quite. Screen. Yeah. I mean, I don't even care. Nice. I don't you don't care. Yeah. I don't care yeah. who wins this one, honestly. Right. Both drafts look awesome. Yeah. They look like a lot of fun. Things We're playing with house one. money. You're really? playing with house money at this point? Yeah, because you kind of got the last one. That was your that was your freebie, wasn't it? To get pain to get to this point. So, 1 1. So, you don't really care who wins. Nah. I still this, one look, this one just looks like a lot of fun. Just want to see amazing. great Dota. <laughs> it seems. I still like Liquid a little more. I think that I think the two the two big cores of pain are punishable here. But man, if they go off like they did the last game, this is just gonna be sick. I don't understand this. I try and do my job. I try and listen to them, and <laughs> you know they, they say they want pain gaming and they're fanboys and they're willing them on in the second game. And it comes to game three, and they're like, "Well, I think Liquid look better." And uh, I didn't. Know. Say that. <laughs> right, let's go over to our commentators who are ready for game number three. Boys, win Ranger Slada. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Blitz, you know, Biggie once said that you're nobody until somebody kills you. I feel like in Dota, it's a little bit opposite, right? Where you're nobody until you actually kill somebody. And Pain, they brought down what? Navi, they brought down, uh, who else did they bring down? Newbie, they brought down a failing newbie, right? Those, are, those aren't really like the big, big fish, right? But Liquid, in a game three, if they can bring them down, right? They failed against OG, but they have a second chance here. If they bring down, Liquid. It would be monumental and it would be great to start out with the first blood. Unfortunately, they miss out on yeah. it. Good call, by the way, by uh, Fog on the Slardar pick. That yeah. was very well done. But they were wrong about who was playing what. Yeah. As this is a support Wind Ranger, support, support, Slardar, or, uh, support Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Core Slardar. Very important. Yeah. But we're going to have the, the core Slardar. I think it's just the, like, you, you need that kind of strong initiation. You need that strong front line, right? Very important. I like your quote, by the way. Yeah, I have another one for you. Oh yeah, uh, Omar the Wire. Oh yeah, you come at the king. You best not miss. <laughs> As All right, well, engagement I will here. follow up that quote soon. The Cogs push back onto Montumba Man, keeps him away from that bounty rune, and doesn't get it. But Tavo is dropping dangerously yeah, low Tavo, right now. If you could just the trade blocks. out, and get a first block. These blocks the by the trade out. They're getting in front of a Tavo. He commits to his death. He knows he's dead, and he just throws out the fire. Once in a while, Kuro just likes to remind people that even I though he's playing five. <laughs> He's like, I'm still very good at Dota. Hey, uh, I, I will follow up okay. your quote about Omar. Mm -hmm. Come at the king, you best not miss. Here's the thing about most kings, Will. Okay. okay. Most kings get their heads shot off. Mm. So, you know. What is what is this? Uh, this he's just going to be trying to babysit Matumba Man. Meanwhile, we're going to have a Wind Ranger Slardar aggro dueling lane into the Ember Spirit Disruptor. Now, my favorite part about that quote, too, is it's completely true when it comes to Dota. It doesn't matter if you take a game off good teams. Yeah. If you don't win the series. There, I can tell you so many examples where people got hyped for a second, like, ah, well, this team, they took a game off them in a best of three. That was the complexity special for a really long time. Mm -hmm. They take a game off like LGD, and then they would lose the best like, of three. Like, wow, so. they must be a fantastic team then. They took Nobody one game. Nobody remembers that. All that you'll remember in the standings is, did Pain win, did Liquid win? That's all that counts. This third game, erases everything else. Oh, the curl. He ran back into the cogs. Okay, maybe. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? They he likes to remind go? people. Yeah. Getting TP. <laughs> he has no mana. He's so dead. There's no way he could juke this, right? No way he could juke this? Oh, one hit from okay. Tavo. All right. Fine. That was pretty cool for a second. It'll finish him off. That's a classic juke. Tavo knew what was coming. Tavo saw it all the way through. One to one is the score line so far as up at top lane. The ping comes out. What are we going to see here? Absolutely nothing as the stun flies out onto Weeha. He's starting to get low, has the flame guard, won't do anything. They could just dive underneath the tower constantly. They've got uh, physical damage, like a lot of physical damage from this, right? The Slardar crush, then the Wind Ranger constant right clicks. It's, I feel it's like one of the, the supports that does the most physical damage in the laning phase. This is going to be pretty annoying for him. His flame guard doesn't really matter in this lane either. No. And once the game starts to scale, if he gets 
hit by shackles at all, he'll just die as HFN. All right, HFN is really pushing this to the limits right now. He, oh, no! I think he might. Healing self oh. will keep him alive, but he just lost his he healing, his healing self. self. So that still means he's in the losing lane scenario. A dive in on a Weeha. He's dead again. HFN, we're still going to check on him to make sure he doesn't die. Miracle is out of mana, though. He no longer has any more Mind control. Layout. He on the stun. Mind control. Missed out on the stun. King RD will stay alive. The battery assault is still going. Mind control just can't get the aggro Wait. off him. Finally gets it off with one hit left. King RD is still being chased by these treants. Mind control is thinking about it. He thinks he can get this kill, but he can't get away from the treants. They're too much. And now Mind control and GH will make sure Duster dies as well. The kinetic field will lock them both in, but they spot him for a moment, and that's a moment too much. Kuro gets the double kill. That was very well done by the Liquid Supports. GH popping the salve right in front of the tower, trading aggro left and right. That is classic Liquid, and they are going to be rewarded for their efforts with three kills in this top lane, already up to a 2k gold lead at just three minutes into the game. That is unreal. And this and it mid lane is completely crushed. This feels like it's uh, a laning phase that Pain really needed to go well, right? Yeah. Because they, they have to fear this Phantom Lancer OD later on to the game. They need a good running start for this Templar Assassin and Ember Spirit to be able to jump off. Last time they were able to enable HFN so much, mm -hmm. which paid off big time as the game went later. Tavo also had a very decent laning phase. This time around, they're losing two out of three lanes. The third lane, yes, the Underlord is doing pretty well, but the Phantom Lancer is still free farming. Not ideal situations at all for pain. But this is still a pretty cool... Kuro's gonna oh. come in. Tavo, he may be able to just stand in the fire against my Tavo man, but now Kuro with the extra damage. Let's make sure Tavo does die. Yeah, the benefit of the support Nature's Prophet is he can be anywhere and everywhere. We see that already as he gets the kill at bottom. Rotates up to top, starts that dive, and immediately manages to make his way down again. And we've seen this problem many times. HFN in prison underneath the tower. Take a couple extra shots. The the disruptor, right? It's like the the disruptor aggroed. I mean, you get aggroed. You don't really do enough for you in that laning phase. Can't really go anywhere else to make things happen. This is the downside of the hero, is that when you are aggroed in the lane because he's so single target focused and he doesn't really have a lot of kill potential, like Disruptor works best in situations where you can enable him. As at top, King RD, gonna get hit by the nuke. Shots out of Cogs, can he somehow push out these heroes? Oh, nice, Shackles on to two. They need to be able to get GH the final nuke to finish off King RD. Weeha, you don't want to be here. Turn around on Weeha. Weeha, again, that Flame Guard not really doing anything to protect him against this physical damage. Mind Control's just gonna make sure they get one more crush, but he doesn't actually land it, but GH will still get the kill. The Flame Guard fades, and GH will finish him off. Joke's on you guys, though. Pain picked up four bounty runes. <laughs> Those are pretty important. We laugh, but bounty runes are a lot of gold. I'm laughing because it's funny that they just took four. <laughs> that Seven was the to one all along. Oh, Weeha. Gonna get gone on again. Has the flame guard available. Instantly eats his way through, but he's being chased down. They've already got a crust. Oh, the slight of fizz, but my control held onto the stun long enough to be able to get it. Weeha. One more shot from Curl. That'll finish him off. He'll be stuck underneath the tower, so he'll die. King RD will also pick up mind control in the process. So it's a decent, oh, HFN! He kills Miracle, kill. a huge solo kill for HFN to bring the lane back to him. Oh, he absolutely Oh, they got the glimpse like back. That. The win run, it's run out, GH. He's gonna be pushed by the Cogs as what well. What is going on? Double kill for Duster, Pain Gaming. They just turned things around big, and they all tip GH. They all tip, <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh, Miracle's gonna join in on the fun too. This Kuro will do it as well. The best They're thing. all flaming GH together. This is the best thing that's happened to professional Dota. I hate people that are just like, oh, well, you shouldn't do stuff like that. At bottom, Tavo gonna get gone gonna on go Ghost for the, the TP out, he's fine. He's easy out. And Payne hitting back in a big way. Led by the four bounty rune pickup. Let's not forget about that. It really was the game changer, even though it had really no impact on the game whatsoever actively. As I gloss over your words in this <laughs> mid lane miracle, <laughs> just continuing to try to come back with the farm. 600 net worth behind that TA who's got stacks to go to. HFN had such an early rough start. He's doing just fine oh, right now. Bro. He's just stumbled into oh, the don't wrong neighborhood. HFN had a double damage, and he cannot get away from that battery assault. That's a farm nature's profit too, by the way. Yeah. Like he's got a medallion already. That's what led to that kill up at top. He is valuable. He can't afford to give up kills like this. HFN 
Tavo. This time around, he does not have a TP up. So, hit by the shackle, but a bigger kill in mid. Miracle, locked in by down. the kinetic field, didn't even need the glimpse. Tavo does die, but Miracle, once again, you need a snowball in a game like this as your OD. If you look at their lineup, there's not a ton of team fight on the side of Liquid. Not a lot of hard lockdown. HFN could just go insane right now as tips fly out. And this is like a, the next level of gaming, right? Yeah. It's the sixth opponent. It's trying I, not to tilt to the tips. I, I feel really good about any team that they're all tipping together. It shows a certain amount of team coordination yes, yes. outside of the game, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a dance routine. Yeah. It's like who followed it the best. <laughs> so far, pain in this like a... Uh, Invisible six category right now. They're they're killing it. They're destroying in the their 5k game. net worth up in that It might not lead to anything in game, but At bottom King RD he's already level five almost has a level six He's gotten a lot out of getting those kills in GH who is so successful early is starting to lack in levels right now These two supports just ambling around not yeah. really sure where they're supposed to be next. And it feels like the pressure they put on the Underlord, it doesn't really do anything, right? This Underlord still gets the farm. Maybe it's just because they wanted to be able to create some space for Matumba Man to have a successful PL game. They're going to be able to find the Slaughter here underneath the Tower Man to get the Cogs on top of him as well. So even if he gets the stun out, he just can't get out of the Cogs. Nine to eight now, and it's Pain Gaming taking the net worth lead for the first time in this game. Yeah. Weeha has played the sacrificial role perfectly. Died four times, but just continues to plug away. He's below his clockwork in both levels and farm. Yeah, the supports were definitely the winners of that top lane. Yeah, Even if GA? they got zero CS. He's trying to soak up XP right now on this TA. He's already got that first Mithril Hammer. Oh, look at that. The double slow. Duster comes in with the kinetic field. But GH is here. Shackle, not going to land. It's very important because Miracle was ready to die for. In fact, they brought Matumba Man as well as Kuro here. Now, if Duster dies for this, it's going to be fine, but they can't afford to lose HFN, and that's immediately why Kuro goes for that Miracle. Target. Tried to get the TP out, the imprisonment came out from Miracle just in time. He'll come back. A lot of damage on HFN. Tries to throw it for the OD. OGH, oh, pop the trap. There we go. Templar Assassin was dead. And so that's he, at least he was able to do something useful. I think he could have just gone now, but he stayed around for just a little bit too long. Yeah. They were both so low on the side of both Duster and HFN. Not really in fight territory. Tavo gonna TP in. Try to help things out. Kuro, you don't have boots. You've got to be careful about this. Oh, Two nice man cogs. cogs. Matumba man finally gets doppelganger on. He will successfully get out of the cogs. Miracle's a little bit low. Has to be careful. Only at 200 health, but no glimpse available on the Duster. Level 10, who's going to get the bounty runes? GH picks up one. Goes for another. But Duster might be able to punish him. GH is going to run down. Can they really get the kill, though, with the Tavo? They're going to need the good kinetic field with the Firestorm on top of it. GH holds on to his win run, pops it now, but it's so much magic damage. And now Duster just needs a little bit more. Good shackle shot turnaround, but Tavo, one more he right can click. still get him. Ah, he's got him. There we go. Lightning will be enough. GH knows that he is dead. King RD looks like he also knows he's dead. He's being chased down by Mind Control. Nice pickup by them. Liquid needed something like that as they take the very slight gold lead back. But HFN now starting to clear through some of these Ancients. It's more than halfway to his Desolator too. It's just 10 minutes into the game. Miracle getting some damage on that mid tower. Important to be able to get uh, that damage in because the Templar Assassin is going to be playing around those neutrals so often that you want to try and punish that. Yeah, you want to try to make it so that she has to return. She's going to get slowed up right now. Miracle, got to be careful here. HFN doesn't have refraction oh, charges. Tackle! That was such a long latch, but it gets the job done. Miracle will claim the kill. They thought they were going to get the turnaround, but GH with the very nice shackle. He was one second away from that refraction. Thought he could play that timing. Feels a little bit like that Invoker game, how they they know this OD is kind of a threat. In fact, he's putting himself on that high ground, attacking the tower routinely. They know that Pain's going to go for that kill eventually, and Liquid just always bringing these extra heroes to make sure Miracle does all right. Yeah, and this is going to create a little bit of space for Weeha, who is struggling right now. Yeah, that boy needs it. He does have level seven, so his spirits are online, so maybe he can actually- So much King damage RT, with that crush. Shot in. Yeah, that was so much damage, but Weeha, with the help of King RD, we'll be able to punish Mind Control. Shackle. Yeah, not going to land. King RD going to get sprouted up, and, and he does have the focus, focus fire, which is so dangerous with any kind of minus arm, and that's what Kuro provides right now. King RD trying to juke his way through the trees, gets the cogs with GH inside of it. That's unfortunate. Tavo 
trying to come in with the Underlord, not going to make a GH. Chased away. Miracle's going to try and take advantage of the Shackle Shot. Jeez, look at him. Just blow up the support. The Glimpse sends him back. And now GH. Well, Miracle's here again, and GH is going to be protected by that OD. Kuro, he puts out aggressive much TP. damage. Quelling Blade, though, on the side of the TA. He does not want to fight Miracle at this point. No. A little bit just too annoying. He really wants to try to get that Deso. He's been so close so many times, Cap. He was on his way to a 12 minute Deso. The timing on it, the two deaths that he suffered, slows it down by so much. Still in a very healthy situation when it comes to network, but what could have been. And our Underlord, I think they wanted to make that more of a team fight. He tried to Dark Rift in. I didn't see what finished off the, the creep that he was trying to Dark Rift onto. But unfortunately, it meant that Liquid had the numbers to be able to run over that top lane. They'd taken the mid-tier one tower. Now they're going to take the safe lane tower as well, it looks like, with Matumba Man having a very firm grasp on this. We haven't talked too much about him, but he's got a Diffusal Blade with a 6,600 6, net worth. He is far did ahead of the six, six, I, Yes, I did. That was sick. You yeah, know, it was going to be 6,000, then it was 6,600. That's why we're going to cast together. this year's TI Finals. As in mid, <laughs> mind control, or well, miracle. Well, that is a dangerous combination. Oh, he is incredibly dead. Did you say mind control? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're definitely not doing TI I, this year. <laughs> I, I, Kuro, Kuro finds a kill on a Tavo. GH going to come in with Oh, the that corrosive haze. Careful of the tower shots. Weeha has to back himself up. Just gonna remnant away, reset things a little bit. Has that maelstrom queued up? GH is Kuro. looking for something. Getting ahead of these aggressive heroes. TP. He does have one spirit left, so I don't think they can really go for that. That would have been crazy. Yeah. Kuro, you would die for that. Duster was prepared. Wee's trying to just get a that first big damage item for the Ember Spirit and the maelstrom. Dude, Wee's just trying to get anything right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just 100% honest true. here. Weeha would be pleased as punch to have that javelin. And he does! Huzzah! And we've got a Desolator now. All right, this TA finally gets a Deso. It's still a good amount of farm. It's just what could have been Yeah, is the disappointing part, is that HF and those two deaths that were largely avoidable. They were both attempts at Miracle's life that just went away. And it also feels like um, the, the Desolator looks really good when you have good control of the game. Right? If your Ember Spirit was online and he was killing people and you guys were the ones controlling the game, that opens up Roshan with that Deso. But here in this game, your top lane's being heavily pushed into the Tier 2. You've lost your mid-Tier 1. You're either going to have to win a big fight against Liquid or you're going to have to sneak that Roshan. And both are a bit of a gamble. Yeah, it's very problematic right now that they can't deal with Matumba Man. It wasn't an easy Slark game, but this is a much better PL game. Well, do they have vision of him? They have a ward down. So they can actually catch him with shot. the shot with the combination with the disruptor. Matumba Man can't get out fast enough. Tries to get away. The clock puts him over the command field. They get the glimpse back though. And that will make sure he dies before he gets the doppelganger off. Huge kill, GH. 500 gold. We are walking up. You've got to be careful about this. Fortunately, no shackle. And he already had a defensive spirit laid in place before he went to that high ground. He knew it was a bit of a gamble going for that 15 minute bounty rune. That was a fantastic gank, by the way, by Payne. They knew that the bounty rune was coming up. I mean, this is such a great kill combination. The clockwork setting up the Static Storm from the Disruptor. Yeah, they even get the D Ward off as Miracle. Doesn't really have any items, but it's still representing strength right now. That's going to send everybody Ooh. out of here. Mass TPs. Full retreat mode is they're going to shove in bottom. They're going to grab some of these bounty runes too. And Weeha all of a sudden is slowly starting to catch up. He's not that far behind, and HFN has taken over that top away, net worth. Baby. Away, baby. King RD may not be so happy. Nice. Ah, four man smoke up, picks up the haste rune, though. Maybe he can outrun this? Oh, oh, oh no, if he hadn't cogsed, he was good. <laughs> he could have just outrun everything. And, and this now. Is a solar Crest amplified Roshan. They do not want to give this up. King RD this. with the instant buyback. He's going to rock it in. He's got hook shot. Everybody's got to get here soon, though. HFN trying to make his way over. Weeha doesn't have a TP up, though. Liquid know that they can't afford a, a fight inside of the pit, though, against an Underlord, so... You can't give up that Aegis if you're either team, really. That's why they're not going to get it low enough, where if they lose a team fight, they just offer it up for free. Yeah. Because that's still a TA with a Deso. And I like the fact that even though it would it would have been a panic moment, I heard the panic in your voice. Yes. Like, Weeha did not have a TP. He just kept sticking out. Right? He's still pushing out that bottom lane because he knows his Underlord has it 
in control. He's got to come back, though, with yeah. the CP. I mean, absolutely. You know Liquid's going to try and force this. Yes. And they absolutely are as they go for the amp again. This is going to fall very quickly. Pain. Oh, they got to get in there. They got to start getting the Firestorm out already. It's at half HP with the Corrosive Haze as well as the Solar Crest. They don't put out the most physical damage, though. So maybe Pain. King RG, they're going to try, try, try and get inside the Roshan pin. Magic the Kongs on it, too. He's Kongs out, out of it. Again with they the can't get it. It's huge. They we have to take them all down. The Age is picked up. And that is going to be Liquid wiped inside the Roshan pin. GH is trying to focus they want everyone run. away from HFN. But Pain, they wipe Liquid a 5 nothing. Incredible team fight in the Roche pit. King RD, that is unreal. Whew. His cogs, it was so tantalizing. They were oh, just out of this. reach of it. They're going to go to the bottom tier two. They're getting extra out of this. That was unreal. You're going to see it again. Look how close they won it so badly. <laughs> we are over the top. And it's just outside of their reach. They were so desperate. They were clawing at that cage. Couldn't do anything about it. King RD with a perfect positioning. Thought for a second he went in half a second too early, but the yep. timing, you could not have asked for better timing as Liquid. Oh, what a good shackle shot from GH, but he's surrounded by so many heroes. The wind run is going to protect, but the time being, Disruptor already dead from the initiation from Mind Control. Goes on Tavo, he'll die as well. The same time in the back lines, Kuro, who's trying to slow down these heroes, just got popped by HFN and Weeha. But if he slowed him down enough, that's going to be worth it. It's going to be the Aegis down for the Ember Spirit. He has a Spirit out, Mind Control set out. He needs to try and hit the stun. The shackles wasn't enough to be able to stop that stun, though. Weeha has another Spirit jumping forward. Miracle still staying on top of them. No more spirits for Weeha, and Miracle will get the kill. Pain trying to get the extra bit here with the Dark Rift down to the bottom lane, goes for that tier two, doesn't even get the objective, and loses a very nasty fight. That was not the discipline that we saw in game number two. No. That was just them getting a little bit too overhyped. They're like, we got the Aegis. <laughs> yeah. I can get excited. I am a commentator, but if you're playing in this game, you've got to stay calm. You've mm -hmm. got to continue to make the right reads. Grabbing the mid-tier one tower was great, well, but getting wiped like that was not the best as Kuro, if he gets isolated out, could just die here. But it's always hard against Nature's Prophet. King RT finally is in his wears out. Finally, he will go for it. Kuro has to get himself out with the tree usage. They do have the hook shot, trying to finish him off. He does manage to get the kill, but now his life is forfeit. Surrounded by Mind Control as well as Miracle. He knows he's giving up support for support. Mind Control at half HP is going to TP up to the top lane because to Matumba Man needs him badly. The Firestorm is coming in. Matumba Man will tick. not take out from that alone. And Pain, they had no more damage to throw out. So Liquid now going to swarm in with that smoke that they popped earlier. This would be huge if they could get HFN. He's still amped up. The bounty runes are spawning. They come back for the 20-minute rune, too, so... Liquid knows their priorities, man. Yeah. Get those bounty runes. That game <laughs> may or may too, not though. happen. And that DD is being baited right now, but Miracle, thinking that nobody else is going to make their way forward, is going to grab it before anybody else does. And a tight game number three. 3k lead for Pain. Up one kill at 20 minutes. I love these two teams, by the way. Yeah. It feels like they bring out the best in each other. They just battle. Feels like a good example of the, uh, you remember the Liquid Maneski various yes. series? Like those series were always really fun. At least one game was always really good. Yeah, but that was always Liquid just coming out on top. This time around, Pain have a very real shot at knocking Liquid out of the major. 3k gold lead right now. They do have a Templar Assassin Ember Spirit cores though. Yes, no like, tower hitters. These cores do not take towers very quickly. They don't have great high ground potential, and they're going to lose out in the late game against the Phantom Lancer OD. So this kind of gold lead, it's good it's for deceptive. pain. It's acceptable, but they got to keep growing it, right? Right now, their lineup is full of killers. It's for team fight. Yep. The best thing about playing against a Nature Prophet is this hero doesn't really provide that much team fight. Hold that thought. Mind control, control. Man, get the blink away. King RT has the hook shot. will land it onto GH. Push them back into the Underlord. GH will Miracle. die. Tries to go for the Ancient tonight. Wasn't going to land. They want the glimpse on him. They even get the rocket. Oh. So they have double vision here. The Slurp, oh, <laughs> mind control. Nice combination there. The Corrosive Haze allowing him to one-shot the Courier. No opportunity to pop that Divine Shield. Liquid in full retreat mode. Thought they were going to get a fight. Only losing GH and that support Windranger. 
And I know that sounds weird for people to hear. Like, that TA doesn't hit the high ground very well. Hold that thought. Oh, Miracle. the Cogs push into the Static Storm, but Miracle does have that Force Down. He's going to be glimpsed back into that. He has no damage while he's silenced, but it finally fades. He is able... Oh, Tom, Tom to making sure they want Miracle dead. So he Dark Rifts to make sure the fight is okay. They lock down Miracle. He's dead, and they'll go now for the Tier 2. Very nice nab for them. Miracle just overstaying your welcome. You were talking about why is TA, even though it's a Desso hero, does great yes. physical damage, why is it not a traditional objective taker? Oh, mind control. He's getting into a fight Oh, with a bash! Wait, oh, careful! No, do uh, <laughs> Trying to burn him out with a flame guard. Look at him. He under. Oh, we no, are not like this! I didn't understand the distance. We are. I, have I was going to compliment we. I thought it was going to say he understands the slaughter to a T. He knows how big that AOE is, but clearly he did not. If you come at the king, you best not miss. <laughs> oh, that's so rough. That is a fairly significant swing. I mean, 700 gold goes the way of mind control, who has no real way to farm, by the way. He's a slardar. Yeah. He can crush waves and just dutifully right-click them, but... That will get him a lot closer to his BKB than he once was. And Weeha, who was really starting to catch up back into this game. He takes a stumble down the net worth chart once again. Yeah, so before we get interrupted by something like that again, <laughs> uh, HFN playing the TA. TA, Refraction eventually just starts to not feel very good. Mm -hmm. You're more or less a melee hero. Once your BKB charges start to run thin, it doesn't feel very nice. Like. I don't know. This hero is more of a killer than just a straight tower hitter. He's going to have why... a lot of poke, right? Like, yeah. the, the Phantom Lancer is going to run illusions at him. There's going to be Treants running at him. And he's going to have... He's going to lose the refraction charges very quickly. Yeah. And then you just die. Yeah. In the early game, refraction feels like the best spell. And as it goes on later and later, I endure 1,700 HP hero with strength treads. Yeah. Like, that's not very promising. It is made a little bit better with the addition of talents because we do have the refraction increase, plus four at level 25, and HFN is well ahead when it comes to experience yeah. than most other heroes. So it will get bolstered a bit. Yeah. This hero just, you need to continue to scale though. Yeah. Like you have to non-stop scale with TA. That's why like these kinds of heroes often, the upside is you have some ability to just like continue to get ahead, mm -hmm. which is why like Nature's Prophet as a core or Templar Assassin, they're almost always gonna be ahead of you in network as a result. Good choice here from Mind Control's Fury on going for the Halberd. So that comedy, you could see his objective, right? It's Solar Crest as well as Halberd. He's try just trying to bolster. You say Mind Control? Oh, you're. Oh, excuse me, Curl. You're used to. Uh, yeah, I don't. Because you didn't get in the game, I don't have my own screen. Uh. <laughs> Curl. Curl Fury on. He understands. Look, it's just all about this physical damage it's coming out from the TI. I can protect people with Solar Crest as well as the Halberd. We've got a Mantis style, by the way, picked up on Matumba Man. Ooh. Still pretty farmed. Yeah. There's still a lot of potential for Pain to get that kill. And Mind Control is going to be a little bit less of a factor. Just like your Slar Dark Core, you're going to have to rely on your OD and your PL <laughs> Course to really come through here for you. <laughs> Did you see that pickup? What? Duster, my man. That is uh, that is a Vlad's. <laughs> He knows he's not in it for him. He could get Force Staff, Glimmer Cape, you know, uh, Ethereal Blade or something. You know, he could try and protect himself, but he's like, nah, I'm going to get a Vlad. That's armor for his team, dude. Yeah, he's and all about the And he's got a buckler queued up. That is team play. He's like, guys, we have a serious armor problem. <laughs> Corrosive Haze. Everyone here right now. Miracle gonna get slowed up. They've got the glimpse. The stun oh, from Mind big Control. Stun from Mind Control with a follow up from GH. He immediately just tries to lay damage in HFN, but HFN popping his BKB is a huge threat. That's why Miracle, he's just gotta disappear from this fight while Matumba Man will take over. And sure enough, he does. He forces HFN back. Miracle now playing the distance. He can blink in if he wants to. Try and go for imprisonment. They've got they so many traps in there. Weeha has to jump away. Blade Mail activated by King RT just in time, so Miracle couldn't lay the damage onto him. There's GH so many traps. Armor damage. A jump away from Matumba Man, he's caught by Weeha. Weeha, brought down by the slide of fist. Kuro, he won't make it out today either. That teleport is canceled. A one for three exchange to Pain Gaming's favor once again. And Liquid, they're so good at normally doing that. Going for the disengage, grabbing a hero, trying to get more. There were so many traps down though. I think Weeha just started ticking down. Weeha had a great read. He saw Miracle coming. Played to the back line. Played to his defensive spirit. While King RD 
he pushed himself forward, and it was a great move, especially with the blade mail, just yes. making it so the the this OD can't do anything. There was zero fat chance that they were going to continue to take that fight, and now they're going to grab a tier two tower for their efforts. HFN getting the last hit on that. A big BKB usage from HFN. That will open up the Roshan pit for them as well. This is a big Roche. The second one of the game. This is what's going to allow them to continue to take further map control and dissuade Liquid from taking fights. And this is the one that they want. Look at their lineup. They've got a Nature's Prophet with a Solar Crest first item, a Slardar. It's starting Engage. to get pretty low here. He scouts it out. Mind control. Slide of fist is going to miss. Mind control can get the blink inside the pit, but he everyone's no one. Already got out. The BKB was already activated. The backline Matumba Man hit by the hookshot. King already forces everyone out. everybody out. And now the OD, he's on the, he's on the river. He's on the low ground. They could just surround him potentially. Need to make sure he can't get the blink away, but he does. HFN, he makes sure blink. Oh, he's so he's strong right now. Miracle right now, chasing him out of the fight. Matumba so he can man. turn back into Matumba Man, who's trying to finish up the Roshan pit. He picks it, it up. He just Quirrell picks it up. But now they're locked inside with a pin. Matumba Man, he gets away, but they can't afford to let him escape with that Aegis. They will deny him that. They glimpse him back. The pit will hold him in place, and they should have the damage. Kuro will die. They get the last hit on the Aegis, but they lose so many heroes. They're all going to TP down to bottom. Oh, they're going for the big play. This is their game-winning move, potentially. There's no buyback on any of these heroes right now. Liquid, Slardar trying to go for the split push, but there's no way for him to deal with this. They made the play last time, going for the tier two, but the death timers were low enough that Liquid was able to punish that play. This time around, 30 seconds for Matumba Man. There's no way Liquid can take this fight. And when you're completely uncontested, then TA is a fantastic tower taker. They're gonna get at least one set of racks off this. And here's where, are you being a little bit too greedy? PL up in 20 seconds. They're gonna get the tower minimum. GH gonna poke with the power shot. Gonna get rooted up here. Weeha oh, pressing yeah. forward. about it, but my control. He's gonna intercede. Managed to get a stun. In trouble, but Ghoul Scepter will buy him a little bit of time. Has another slide of fist to be able to finish off GH and jumps away. Miracle. Big bad boy Miracle. This is the dangerous guy. You gotta get away from him, but HFN. He's he gonna be Miracle. He gets yes. him. He gets him with a big time crit. My control's gonna be locked inside the cannon field with the static storm. But Duster with the He's in trouble as well. They just brought down Liquid inside of their own base and they just executed the horse. Live dead. JJ is called and pain game. Gaming. They are the big boys of the field now, ladies and gentlemen. They are moving on to the playoff stage. You cannot take anything away from these guys. Liquid played their hearts out. Today, Pain was just a little bit better. Very veteran showing by them. The Roche fights, everything went their way. They played to win this game. And you can see the disappointment in Liquid's faces. They're still yet to win a major, a team this good gets denied once again, and this time it's by Pain Gaming. Unbelievable. Again, I mean, the Dota community, uh, we as talent, we're also kind of used to it. Like, we care about the best teams, right? We want you to bring us the absolute best. We care about those tier one teams. You're nobody if you're tier two, tier three. Pain Gaming, they're somebody, man. Yes, we talked they about it. They took out Liquid in a best of three. They came at the king and they did not miss. They absolutely did not. They got their kill. Whew, Pain Gaming. What a win for them. Fantastic stuff. Talent, are you guys as shocked as I'm sure much of the community is? The king is dead. Long live the king. Uh, Pain Gaming have taken the biggest scalp they could possibly take at ESL 1 Birmingham. This tournament has been full of surprises already. Day one saw three incredible named teams drop out, and we've seen a fourth one drop out right now at the expense of the South American qualifiers. They have had the most tumultuous season throughout the DPC, but I have no doubt in my mind right now that they will be celebrating late into the night in Brazil as Pain Gaming will advance through to the quarterfinals at the expense of Team Liquid. Our Pain Gaming fans on the board here, on the uh, panel, they're, they're, they're very happy. Oh my a little goodness. bit stunned, though, I have to tell you. I walked back and I was like, whew, yeah. wow, what a performance. Because actually, when we look back on the start of this game, as we'll see some highlights in a moment, 
they were like seven or eight one down. Oh, they were I, getting destroyed in every lane. I started to get a little bit nervous when we were talking about the end of that draft. I'm looking at these Liquid lanes. I think there's a world in which Liquid crush all three of these lanes, and it's never a game. But the five minute, 30 second kills, you got a kill on the OD mid, GH dies top, gets like two battle pass levels and tips, and all <laughs> of a sudden it's a game again. I said in the last one, Payne was able to take those gut punches and keep fighting. And I thought in the early game that their